Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the Turnigy Micro Quad. It's micro. Yeah, now this is just a little prototype, a smaller version, right? This no, that's is, this it. This is it? This is the real McCoy. This is the one that's gonna be flying. It's small. It's tiny. It's micro. It's micro. It's like a little micro machine of quads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hence the word micro and quad put right. together in a beautiful combination. And here we go. Now this is a lot of technology put into a little package. You, okay. you can clearly see that there's a whole yeah. conglomeration of boards and motors and speed Got control. A KK board. Yeah, but but you know what? They've done something really remarkable. They've actually printed the circuit board on the bottom, so you just have to make solder joints. You don't have to run long wires and make connections and things like that. Solder joints. So, solder. There's an L in there. Oh, yeah, solder. I, yeah. I like solder. You say solder, I say solder. Well, you gotta trust me. We can get stuff. along. I'm sharp, like a knife. You're sharp. You've been apparently yeah. reading viewers' uh, feedbacks. Yeah. yeah, soldering. Soldering. All right, so anyway. Show them the bottom. Okay. Easy to build. Now there are instructions for the frame, but the setup on this, we're hopefully gonna have posted for you on our website. Um, but RC Groups is also another really great uh, uh, resource for you. But rather than having to solder wires and make connections to the motors directly, all you need to simply do is actually solder to the actual solder joints right here. Okay. So if you don't know how to solder, watch one of our videos how to, Solder. If you don't know how to solder, all you need to do is go to one of our videos, watch how to solder. We have some great tips for you. Solder. Solder. You really hung like up on soldier. that. Soldier. Now while we're looking at the bottom here, what we have is we have four six amp plush speed controls and they actually fit perfectly. And the neat thing is, is when you go and order the frame, which is only like $15, um, it'll actually give you a list of parts that you can order with it that all is compatible and what they highly recommend for it. So you don't have to guess which what you need. So cool. you got a 6 amp plus speed control soldered on here, and the motors are 4 watts. Uh, they are Turner G1811s? Yep, 2900 kVs, absolutely. And the props, they even have those specified too, which is, I believe, what is it? 5.3 props. Okay, All now, right. uh, now uh, there's we're something. gonna have to change those up because two of them are backwards from the other ones. Well, no, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's the neat thing about to... quads is it actually uses the uh, torque of props spinning one way and the torque of the others to, to change the motor RPMs. Oh. And that's what gives you your rudder control. I see. All right, pretty cool stuff. So, so you have yeah. counter-rotating props uh, on four sides, and that's what gives you your control. And we have the uh, red one up there so that we know which is front. Exactly. Now we're flying this in the plus configuration right now. Okay. But say you want to fly X, you do have to reprogram pre -pro -pro program. Program the controller board on that. And you use an AVR programming card, and that's actually available from Hobby King too. Okay. So I'd highly recommend get that because it's going to work with all of Hobby King's boards going through this. You can have it for future ones when maybe you want to build a uh, mommy or daddy quadcopter. Oh. All right. So the baby comes first and then the mommy and daddy. It's out of order, but that yeah, sure, why not? That doesn't make sense to me. Don't, don't think about it too deeply. Okay. All right. Check so, the egg. Yep. And what you see here also, we have foam. We want to take the vibration away as much as possible. So we use sticky back foam right here okay. to uh, dampen vibration. Right. And actually flying it, it didn't feel like it had much vibration at all. Okay. So it flew really, really nicely. We have uh, a 500 milliamp two cell in it. Now that's not the battery that's recommended, okay. is it? No, it's not. They actually recommend eight, what is it, 850? Two cell. 850, two yeah, cell. two cell nanotech. Great battery, but we like the nimbleness of the 500 milliamp. And uh, it was a little bit shorter on flight duration, but we had a lot of them. We like the way it flew with it. Get both, find out what you like. Okay. All right, and this is actually a really, really cheap uh, quad to build too. Yeah, we mentioned the frame is $15. Yep, actually. And uh, everything else. By the time you get everything uh, purchased and bought, you're looking about 100 bucks in parts, which okay. is pretty darn reasonable. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, well, besides that, um, the other thing we need to talk about is uh, when you get your gyro set up and everything, you're going to want to hold it in your hand and fire it up and actually make sure everything is acting properly. Okay. All right, and that's very, very simple to do, actually. What you do is you arm it like that. Okay. All right, and you're going to throttle up really lightly, and this is the front of it. Anytime right. you move it, you're going to want to feel that prop on that axis fighting against you. Okay. okay. That's the way to know it's working, all right? Okay. So right now, this one's winding up, this one's pulling down, this one's winding up, this one's pulling down. Right. And also with rudder, you can actually see that two of these are actually firing to counteract it. Yes. All right? So that's that's a good idea to know that you're working good. Okay. You want to keep a good tight grip, and if you guys want, this is a smaller one. If you had a bigger quad, I wouldn't recommend leaving the props on. You can just listen to the sound of the motors on each one okay. uh, doing it. But it is kind of nice with something small like this that you can keep a good grip on. Yeah, you can it is physically, close to my face, though. Oh, sorry. You can physically feel the thrust. Uh, on each prop down below it, which is pretty darn cool. All right. All right, so we got it all set up and now we just gotta fly it. Let's go fly it. Let's go fly. All right. All right, you ready? I am ready. And you're sure this is the full size quadcopter? I think we washed it in hot water and it shrunk. Oh, really? But it should fly just as good. Okay. Okay? All right, why don't you go ahead and plug it in? A little 500 milliamp two cell we're using. And, and right now it is in what kind of configuration? Plus. Plus. Plus is right. Awesome. All okay. right, go ahead and put it down. 
and we'll see what she can do. All right. Now, since we're flying the plus, we'll go ahead and put the uh, the front one forward. The front one forward. You gotcha. Got it. All right. We'll arm it, and here we go. Here we go. All right. Let's just put it through its paces here, just like a normal. He's just a little guy. Just a little guy in a great big world. Flies nice though. Yeah? It flies like a much bigger quadcopter actually. You know, we had to make a few adjustments because it was a little bit twitchy. We did, we did. And matter of fact, you guys are gonna have to do that too. Most of the time, anytime you're messing with multi-rotors, you, uh, you need to make some adjustments. And just get gyros and take it up again and, and just keep going until you get it the way you like it. But um, right now, if you may see a little, little twitchy in the air, but that's because we put the gyros way, way up. And it's actually doing really good though. I'm happy with these settings. You seem super concentrated right now. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what the hard thing is with it being so tiny, it's kind of uh, kind of intense when you, you know, fly it away from you. Orientation's a little bit of an issue. So I'm, we, gonna, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that Chad's probably not gonna let me try it today. I doubt it. But you know what? I think we should put it in the arsenal and let it be one of your first ones to play with. Because mm. it does fly remarkably well. You should flip it. You want me to try to flip it? Yeah, flip it. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> that was crazy, but scary. Nice. But it flips. You know, I, I thought the small size of this would really make it inhibitive to uh, be maneuverable. Yeah. And it actually is remarkably agile. All right. Well, what do you say we uh, we bring it in here? All right, bring it on in. All right. Nice and easy. There we go. There we go. All right. Nice landing. Nice flying quad. It, it actually feels like a much bigger quad. I'm amazed for such a short couple little thing. Yeah. It, I wouldn't it really know. It's nice. Because yeah. I didn't let them fly it. No. No. They won't but let someday. Me. Someday you'll get to fly it. Absolutely. Someday. I mean, it, it would be my first quadcopter. It would be. And it's a little guy. It's just a little guy. And he's, look, he's got like that little dome around all his I know. You know, private parts. It looks like a little RTD2 with little sticks out of him. All right, everyone, thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Hobby King, for sponsoring this episode. Go to our website, flighttest.com, chat it up on our forum. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you guys next time. See you next time. time. Hey, thanks for watching and stuff. Check out, check out my website, Josh Scott is cool .com. No, you're fine. I'm sorry. We just you go on there for. Yeah, I think, I'm, I'm going to start a blog on it and a forum like where you can tell me how movement. great it is and me. It doesn't matter. And, um, no, we're good. Okay, bye.